England, 1642. A country divided by internal conflict. Enveloped in the darkness of warfare, no one could escape its shadow of death. Aylesbury, a market town north of London, a stronghold for parliamentarian forces, would feel the might of the royalist army led by Prince Rupert and face its greatest struggle. The madness of civil war would see neighbour draw blade on neighbour and brother draw blood of brother. Roundheads battle the Cavaliers for control of a nation. Two brothers in arms would be embroiled in a bitter tale of mistrust, adultery, and betrayal. This is the Battle of Aylesbury. They say that the history books are written by the victors. I'm afraid in this instance your only contribution will be to fill my inkwell with your blood. Thomas, speak your mind. It's just... I've not fought before. I've never killed a person. They're not people. They're the enemy. When I look at them, I don't even see their faces. I see a faceless demon who exists only to stop me from seeing my family and end the way of life we cherish. Isn't that right, John? I see the face of my enemy. We're at number 10 to 1. What chance do we have? It doesn't matter which side have more men, it matters which men have more fight. In the moment of battle, there are only two people who exist in the world. You and the man stood opposite you. For either you will end his life, or he will take yours. And if he takes yours, all you can do is die with honour. My father would be ashamed of me. I'm ashamed to admit that I'm afraid. Be not afraid, Thomas. Just remember what you're fighting for. I don't want you to go. You can't, what if you'll get killed? We have to. No, you don't have to. John, tell them that you don't have to go. Be silent, woman. Why do you have to fight? Can't we just flee, John? We should just all go now. And go where? Rupert's army runs a scorched earth policy. We have to fight. I don't want you to go. I love you. I know exactly what I'm fighting for. them I don't even see their faces. I see a faceless demon who exists only to stop me from seeing my family and end the way of life we cherish. And so, on November the 1st, 1642, a small parliamentarian garrison from Aylesbury confronted the strength of Prince Rupert's army.
despite being heavily outnumbered. The men led by Sir William Balfour were able to rise victorious. But even in the celebration of victory, it is true that not everyone will come back from war. Try not to speak. We've won, haven't we? Yes, we've won. Did I die with honour? Try to save your strength. Did I die with honour? Father. You fought bravely. We should have done more to protect him. He didn't deserve this. There's nothing we can do now except for honour him. There is. We can avenge him. How? I saw the filth whose musket fire befell him. He fled to the woods like a coward. John! It's not worth it! Diseased piece of filth come back here. You filth! Get back, you scum! My name was Thomas! My name was Thomas! I was just doing my duty. His name was Thomas. They say that the history books are written by the victors. But I'm afraid in this instance, your only contribution will be to fill my inkwell with your blood! Why are you doing this? Because... of her. Do you have any comprehension how it feels to covet your own wife? You were my brother, but you have touched what isn't yours and violated an unwritten law. Therefore, retribution is due. Now confess! I confess, but I don't apologise. You vowed to be a husband and a provider for Anne and you have provided nothing to that woman but a lifetime of unhappiness. She's in love with me. And if you have any feelings for her, you will show mercy. Mercy? You talk of mercy! The mercy I will show you is to tell her that you died honourably instead of the mule and coward that you are. It is said, in the final moments before death, you see a vision of those you love. If you truly love her, I mercifully grant you permission to see her in the delusions of your final moment. Uh, I implore you, if you kill me, you'll hang. No. No. You'll die at the hands of the same royalist rogue scum that killed Thomas. At least 
if that's all Aylesbury will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> the wilderness. Join the royalists. I won't come looking for you. Your hand on it. Do you see? Do you see her yet? Because the next time I see her, she will breathe her last. Thomas, you're alive. No, John. And I'm sorry, but you died without honour. George! George! Are you, are you actually here? Are you, are you real? I'm here, George. I'm with you. I love you. <laughs> 